think I am good. Hopefully you can hear me. Microphone's working. So that's good. I've got my coffee. Decaf, hopefully you've got yours too. You're joining me on another Thursday edition of Coffee with the Cowbell. But my intro music is not going to play today. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I have a very ambitious setup for tonight. If uh, you probably are seeing the title right now, I'm going to talk about using teams with multiple two or three or four monitors. And in order to accomplish that, I got a second camera and uh, it's going to be crazy. So uh, get ready for the ride. So uh, cheers. Uh, no, no intro music today. All right. Glad to see you. Just double checking a couple things here. I think we're good. Glad to see you. If you are joining live and trying to hit the chat, I cannot guarantee <laughs> that I'm going to see that well tonight. There's a lot going on in front of me right now, <laughs> so uh, I've not really, I have not fine-tuned my my flow just quite yet, so bear with me, but uh, I might see it, so uh, feel free to throw stuff in chat as we go along, but in any case, you're here, Coffee, Coffee with the Cowbell Decaf Edition, 9 p.m. Eastern, and uh, you're here because you're a Teams fanatic like me. You like to talk about teams, learn new things, best practices, all that good stuff. And so that's what we'll talk about today. And in fact, I thought we'd talk about um, monitors because uh, if you check my blog, you'll see a post, even my LinkedIn, where I talk about I got a lot of monitors. You'll see it in a sec when I switch cameras. Um, so I'm a bit of a screen fanatic. Um I'll disclaimer right now, the stuff we'll talk about does not require all the screens that I have. Um, you know, two screens essentially is all you need to get some value out of the tips that I'll be trying to share today. But um, let me switch to this guy. Um, just to show somebody had brought up uh, this week asked me about this monitor, the LG dual up monitor without going into a lot of detail. I mean, it's a, it's a cool monitor. It's pretty big. Um, got a nice stand on the back, all that good stuff for some, it could be used as their primary monitor. You can kind of get, a, uh, get the idea here of just from the picture that, um, you know, you could split two kind of things and it'd be like two monitors, but in this cool looking portrait uh, layout. And uh, they were asking me if I was going to get it. And to be honest, I did. Um, I was tempted. Uh, that is a pretty cool monitor. And I'm a big, you know, screens person. So I was like, well, that would be cool. I, it was a little overkill for for my setup, though. It was just I, I couldn't really mentally justify it so uh i'm not saying that I, <laughs> that I won't ever get it i'm just saying as of right now uh i'm not but it is cool but again the reason i bring that up is because that is what made me think about monitors uh as it relates to teams when i was kind of thinking about you know this week's coffee with the cowbell so i thought i'd talk about and then you have probably if you've watched these or in, or other webinars I've done, you've either heard me talk about or seen me, um, you know, talk about presenting in teams and certainly having a second screen helps some of the common challenges with presenting. So if you're, if you are presenting with just one screen, one laptop or something like that, um, you have some, some, some challenges, um, that can be worked out even on, on one screen. But certainly having two uh, works out as well. So all that being said, let's just dive into um, some uh, tips and, you know, some ways to do it. So I'm, I'm going to see if I can switch to this side camera. 
All right. So I'm here. And you're getting a view of, uh, let me get this out of the way, my, my setup here, or some of it. Um, you're seeing four screens here. And you, I don't worry about not being able to see the detail here. This isn't about being able to see the text and whatnot as I'm going through Teams. Um, but it's more about seeing this concept of, uh, you know, uh, using Teams with multiple monitors. And so in this case, what you I'll start with with one thing you are seeing that, you know, I do have this. Uh, well, this portrait, mon this monitor, the widescreen monitor in portrait mode, OK, up, up and down. Right. And uh, so if you do have a second monitor and do have the option of putting it in portrait mode, um, this could be interesting for you if I go full screen with this. Um, and again, you can't, I don't think you can see much detail there, but you know, you obviously, you know what teams looks like. So this is teams. Um, but as you can imagine, putting it in portrait mode gives us some interesting things, given that teams is, you know, chat based. So while you can't see it, this is my chat area. And in fact, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change the view settings because this is another thing. I'm actually at 85% right now, which on this monitor means I'll always get my left hand navigation here as well as the content but let's go 100 and then let's go 100 and I think that's 120 again you still can't read what's there but you probably can get the picture I'm looking at a chat that has some recordings in it um, you'll see that my you'll hopefully see my left screen navigation pops in and out as I hover over the left side that's one reason why I don't go big too big I, um, I kind of like to see it uh, you know, pin there. But even as I'm looking at my teams, right, I'm if you're in a lot of teams, you know, you, now I can see a bunch of teams and all their channels all in one view. It's only uh, three here. And then, of course, if I'm, uh, you know, if I if I strain to see content on my screen, this is good, too. I got this, you know, big screen and um, ability to, uh, you know, keep getting really large with the text. Um, that might be a little you know, too big there. So I'm at 120 percent. Um, and again, given that that teams by it by its nature is, you know, chat or forum style, this long approach um, is is nice. Uh, I'm a big fan of portrait of having at least one portrait monitor in your portfolio. So even if you've got one main monitor and a second monitor, I'd recommend putting that second monitor in portrait mode. Uh, some unique features, for instance, uh, if I go to find a uh, document here, like again, you can't read it, but down here is a Word doc. If I open that up, as you would expect with portrait mode, I am getting. Uh, let me make it a little bigger, but I'm maybe I'm I'm seeing the full page here, and you know all of this text, you know, a long view. It's like a big piece of paper in front of me, you know, so so reading, say I'd have to say reading documents um, on a portrait monitor is is interesting. Uh, reading, you know, browsers with, that are scrolling up and down is, is 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 useful as well. So the the power of the portrait mode monitor is is a, a lot of people sleep on that um, has value. That is. And that's one of the reasons why I think that dual up LG monitor is interesting and was enticing to me because I, I do like that portrait mode. Now, theirs isn't quite your typical portrait uh, ratio. Um, it's a little a little thicker than your typical portrait ratio. But again, it's same same kind of concept. So um, so I say all that to say, uh, you know, there's some benefits to seeing your whole day. For instance, I'm on a calendar view here. Seeing your whole day um, uh, can be interesting as well. So uh, in my day to day, this ends up being my my uh, where I use teams uh, while I do work on other monitors. Um, I like to have it up, being able to peek at it, you know, and of course, I'm interacting with it all the time, joining meetings and whatnot. Uh, I don't let it take up full screen. I actually usually have something else going on in the bottom half of the screen as well. Um, and then when I have my meetings, uh, as I will start one up right now, 
So we're going to do a meet now here. And then the benefit. So obviously I can let me change this resolution. I can start the meeting and I can have the meeting. And again, you know, team, so you know, that's a meeting window. You know what that looks like. So not seeing the details, not a problem. I can certainly have a meeting there, but I usually end up and you can hopefully see that taking that over to the top screen here for me. And again, I'm now, you know, I'm taking advantage of three screens here. But again, this is all about basically taking it to the other screen. You know, let's assume this was your main monitor. My tip here is to take your meeting to your second monitor. Right. Um, if for nothing else, that gives me full access to teams while I'm in that meeting. Um, as well as full access to the meeting itself um, with all its pictures and everything. Now, I'll, also, I'll say here, having a meeting in your portrait uh, monitor is interesting. I've been in a meeting where eight people are on video. It looks kind of cool to see. I mean, you know, it fills the portrait, uh, you know, with with eight uh, screens that looks kind of cool to see people's uh, faces there. It's also super cool to be in a meeting in a portrait view and have one person sharing their their video because then their entire face fills this screen. And that's kind of cool. That's, it's almost life size. <laughs> so, you know, just uh, different ways to, uh, you know, uh, experience your meetings when you're using multiple uh, multiple screens. Okay. Now, um, uh, let, the other thing that is cool about this, and I'll have to share some content to show. Let's share, uh, da -ba -da -ba -da, share a window here, share this. Okay. We're sharing some content here. There's a couple and the, the content I'm sharing, actually, if you can see right here is a PowerPoint. OK, now, first thing I'm going to say here, this is a common compl complaint or problem that is so easily solved. That's why, I, you know, it just it hurts me when I hear people say that I'm sharing. So I can't see the chat. I'm, in, I'm presenting. I can't see your faces. I don't know what's going on because I'm presenting. And it's a lot of times because they've they've got this where it looks like teams has gone away. All I see is what I'm presenting, especially if, um, you know, in this case, I've sh I share a PowerPoint and then I go full screen, or, you know, or, or uh, slideshow mode. In this case, my slideshow is showing over there. But imagine that was your one main screen. And now you feel like I don't know what's going on in teams. This little window here, if you can see it or if it, or if I bring it over there, you know, this goes in the lower corner of your screen. It's the minimized teams, but it doesn't have to stay minimized. It's actually useful to be minimized, uh, I think. But you just click it in the middle and your whole teams comes back in its full fidelity with the chat and the faces if they were there. And my presentation is still there and my PowerPoint is still here again. This is a three screen scenario. But uh, even on two screens or even on one screen, uh, I can get the full fidelity of this plus everything else. Um, I'm going to end this slide, this full screen slideshow. If I were uh, had one monitor and was trying to get this done, uh, I'm still currently sharing this PowerPoint here. And you can't see it, but the little red line is over it to let me know. There's a in the, in the lower right corner of PowerPoint is a reading view. Hopefully you just saw that that gives me the slideshow concept uh, without going full screen on my monitor. OK, so I'm getting the full benefit of a slideshow here and it's still sharing with the people in the meeting. And so even if I had one monitor, I say this this. Uh, you know, portrait was my one monitor. I mean, it's just a simple case of, you know, a little bit of overlap of two screens. So I would have this slideshow PowerPoint here and the meeting there. And, and then I could still see chat and interact and just, you know, just a little bit of clicking back and forth, even on the one screen. And then, of course, 
two screens and it's much, much easier. But all that being said, even if you are presenting on one screen, you can have the full benefit of a slideshow in PowerPoint, as well as the full benefit of seeing faces and chat and everything else in Teams. Okay, the key is knowing that to just click that minimize box. I'm clicking the minimize button here to bring that box back. It's gone over in the corner here. I'll bring it over. Again, that little box, just clicking it in the middle. And it, it says it right there, calls in progress. Click here to go back to the call screen. That will bring you back to your full Teams experience. So, uh, I mean, as, as long as Teams has been around, I still see people struggling with that and it doesn't have to be a struggle. Uh, I mentioned that I do like having it like this sometimes because this is a view uh, if you so if if you are sharing um, or actually even if you, I'm going to stop sharing here, this, the stop sharing button is right there. Even if I am not sharing as I am not right now, I can still um, minimize and it gives me that. Why would I do that if I'm not sharing? Because now that window will show the speaker, um, similar to other video conferencing stuff, the, the, the active speaker, as opposed to it won't attempt to try to show me, you know, eight people in that little tiny screen. It will show me the person speaking. And so uh, if all I'm trying to do is just, uh, you know, maybe if I'm in a meeting and trying to, uh, you know, I'm trying to do other work and I just want to hear it. Um, and, and, and no, no contents being shared, but I want to see the speaker. I get to see that, uh, pretty, uh, easily. And of course, put that on any screen that I want. Okay. So that's a, uh, a, re a reason why I might go minim minimized even without sharing. And of course I can go back and forth. So that is, um, I hope, I hope that helps because I just see a lot of people struggle with that. Now, let me, let me share some content again. Uh, share, I'll share the same, the same deck. It went minimized. I'll bring it back. And, um, ba 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 ba. Where am I? Let's see. I am looking for my pop out. Oh, I think, uh, let's see. Let me do one thing here. Share. I think I need to go PowerPoint live. Let's do that. Yes. All right. I'm doing PowerPoint live here, sharing some random uh, PowerPoint. Again, you can't see it, but that's what's happening. And what you also can't see, but you should see on your teams is the little pop out button that is relatively new to pop out the shared content. Um, in this case, it's popping out the content I'm sharing, but in most cases, you'll be popping out the, the content of someone else that whose content you're watching. Why would I do that? Uh, two reasons. Again, one, on a, if I've got two screens, this gives me an ability to go full screen with that content while the faces and everything else is over here. Uh, especially if you've got a big monitor over here, you know, imagine taking that content and going full screen on your, you know, your, maybe your third monitor. Um, watch that while you're, you got the meeting uh, window there. The other reason it's nice is because this, to me, the quickest way to go to go to like focus content mode. I mean, there is a, um, the three dots at more and there is a focus on content button and i believe that that strips out everything but the, the video faces if you wanted to even strip that out too i mean with one click you essentially get that by popping out the window okay <laughs> so yet another uh, uh advantage of, of multiple monitors now that that pop up pop out button is there um pop that content out whatever it is whether it's your PowerPoint live content or someone else's content and put it wherever you want. Um, change its size and all that good stuff. Okay. So the pop out um, is cool. And, uh, and just hitting the X on your popped out stuff takes it back to the, the team's meeting area. Okay. Um, 
one other thing so uh, of course you could do this in one monitor too but you know that you also have pop outs for your different chat conversations that are going on so having multiple monitors helps when i'm in a meeting but want to have some side i'm in a meeting here but want to have some side conversations with multiple people maybe people from that meeting i mean i could fill this screen up with chats or in this case since this portrait go full screen with the chat and see see it you know in its own little window um, so another advantage of uh, of that okay so i'm just throwing out kind of you know tips and tips for these these multiple monitors now another tip um, that came up uh, or another idea that somebody made me think about so here's a, a Surface Go 2, a Surface Go 3, what is this? This is a 2, Surface Go. Um, a Windows device can be a, a second monitor. If you've only got a laptop but wish, but wish, and you don't want to buy another monitor, but you've got an extra Windows PC, let's turn this into a device. Again, you can't see it, but follow along with my voice. <laughs> I am hitting start and I'm basically looking for a an app called connect which is going to look like this and just by hitting that this thing is saying that this computer is ready for you to connect wirelessly on this PC I am now you can't see it but I'm hitting Windows K which is the shortcut for casting and I am chew it because these are on the same network my home network I see this desktop and I'm clicking it and you will see that this thing now is one of my windows so for instance my uh, meeting here could go over here and now I got my meeting there what's also cool about this is that because the surface devices are touch screen, I can touch this. Um, and why I uh, might be a lot of reasons why I want to touch it, but the main one be, might be that now I got a nice touchable thing for my reactions, you know, so I can do some applause when somebody like Ricardo does a great multi monitor session in Coffee with the Cowbell, then I can hit applause. A lot of times a lot of times okay um, I may and then of course I can always minimize that screen experience because I may need to do something like bringing up whiteboard in the meeting you know and then taking my surface pen and doing all that cool stuff all right so cool stuff like that uh, so yes yeah, so your sec your your Windows device uh, can be a, a monitor as well and all that stuff we just talked about could apply with just a, a second you know a second device so something else to keep in mind all right um i think that's all the tips you know in, in a in a half hour i guess that i could think of um there are plenty more especially if you get you know a bunch more monitors as you can see I've, I'm I've gone crazy with my uh, screen um, uh, I'm a screen fanatic I got a bunch of them going on people sometimes will tell me that that's way too much I do not agree I make full use of all of these monitors I'm, you know this this session isn't meant to be a, a monitor you know a five six monitor session but I could do that session and I could prove to you that I'm getting full value is not just one of these is not just like dedicated to watching TV or you know I'm, I'm got one dedicated to team stuff one is my my sneak uh, sneak and peek screen the ultra wise where most of the work gets done and all, all that stuff so anyway uh, I can start I can make an argument for you purchasing more screens if you're if you're looking for if you need to convince somebody to authorize the funds for you <laughs> all right so anyway i hope this was helpful 
I really hope I helped those of you that are presenting in teams realize you don't have to be crippled once you go into presentation mode. Um, and um, yeah, and hopefully I helped you see some scenarios, uh, you know, that, that make use of a uh, multiple monitor. So again, no outro music. Uh, can't get that work working tonight, but I do have my coffee. Hope you got yours. This has been Coffee with the Cowbell. Hope it's been helpful. And uh, I'll see you next week.